Come with me to May 2012 to the Cultural Olympiad, where you would have seen throngs of people gathered at the London Globe Theatre. Now raise your hands if you've seen a concert or performance where they received a standing ovation. Now just to recreate that experience, I want you just to give a standing uh, ovation to this performance that I'm about to describe. This is from Afghanistan, ladies and gentlemen, well done. Thank you very much. My name is Edmund Chow, and I'm researching on cultural practices of Afghanistan, specifically theatre. But does theatre exist in a conflict zone like Afghanistan? Yes. In fact, many of these are culturally funded outside. And I will be researching using interdisciplinary studies from cultural studies, performance studies, post-colonial studies, as well as international relations to examine nine specific theatre performances to examine the politics of theatre making and to also question the ethics of using theatre as a way to promote culture in the form of cultural diplomacy. Now, what do I mean by cultural diplomacy? The image behind me is the scene from the Globe Theatre, a play, a Shakespearean play, in fact, sponsored by the British Council, a man hugging a woman, a woman who is not his wife, and a gesture that is not appropriate in conservative Afghanistan. And when I interview one of the actresses after the performances, she was sobbing uncontrollably and saying, <laughs> I don't know what to do because if I were to go back to Afghanistan, I would be beheaded. I told British Council and they said, we've already paid you the money, deal with it yourself. Now, would you agree with me that to deal with it herself is a rather hands-off, careless attitude to a life-and-death situation? And as the audience member, I was indirectly supporting this because I was standing up, giving them, cheering them on. You see, cultural institutions like the non-government organizations, including British Council, often go into post-conflict societies to rebuild infrastructure in the name of what we now call soft power. And my thesis seeks to question the ethics of it, to recalibrate the power imbalance, to propose a culturally sensitive methodology to inform foreign policies so that when cultural workers go into a conflict zone, they will not be harming the communities they work with. And we audiences will not be complicit in the production of violence. <laughs> 